What's up, Shadow? Not you again. Nice to see you too. Looks like those black creatures are headed out to space. We're on our way to the Ark, so I guess that means we're going too. Ark. Come on, let's roll. Next stop, the Ark. Space Colony. Ark. This place. So familiar. But why? This is... where I... Maria? Died? <laughs> oh yeah! Bring it on! Looks like the party's getting started! Time to rock and roll! You up for this, Shadow? Now, oh, Sonic, come back. Come back, Sonic. Why can't you be the main character? You're fun and entertaining. Come back. Shadow, don't you remember? We once raced each other here. This is just like old times. A race for the Emerald. That's right, folks. Get your nostalgia boners, because we're back at Space Colony Arc from Sonic Adventure 2. It has the same uh, background. Not the same music, but uh, it's awfully familiar, and it makes you feel all tingly inside. Now, don't it? <laughs> Either way, uh, we are actually in a race with good old Sonic the Hedgehog, and uh, the winner gets a Chaos Emerald. There's an Emerald somewhere aboard the Ark. Destroy all defense systems. There's there's an emerald somewhere aboard the Ark. Actually, that's a lie. If Sonic defeats you in the race, you still get the Chaos Emerald, technically. But, uh, the hero mission acts very differently from- Oh god, I died! <laughs> oh. Fucking stupid gun soldiers, I'm on your side. I'm doing the hero mission. Why are you shooting me? Why can't the AI know what I want, you fuckers? Ugh. <sighs> But as I was saying, uh, this hero mission is very different from a lot of the other alternate missions. Basically, we are racing Sonic to the Goal Ring. Yes, this is a Get to the Goal Ring mission. And um, if we beat Sonic to the Chaos Emerald, then that counts as completing the hero mission. However, if Sonic beats us to the Chaos Emerald, and we can see when he'll reach the Chaos Emerald, that is the green timer above us, in four minutes the Chaos Emerald is his. And... Uh, if he grabs the Chaos Emerald, then that counts as the normal mission. So technically, if we lose this, if we lose the race to Sonic, we go to the semi-good uh, ending. And if we beat Sonic, we go to the pure good ending. It's weird. But hey, it's a get to the goal ring mission, and uh, this time limit's nothing. Sonic may be the fastest thing alive, but for some reason he's having a lot of trouble here at Space Gadget. <laughs> So despite being not just a nostalgic throwback to Space Colony Arc, it's also a throwback to Crazy Gadget from Sonic Adventure 2, in that it's a 3D level where there are actually gravity-flipping switches where you can reverse gravity and, and you'll end up, like, running around on the ceiling or running along the wall. And, uh, you know, it's pretty interesting, pretty spanky. You got the alien saucers from Prison Island again to get over these... Acid pools, which are in the space colony for some reason. I don't know why. Why is there acid everywhere? What is this? I must know. I hey, fucking elevator! You kill all the aliens so that the elevator starts rising, and then it takes off, and you have to wait for it because these elevators are all damn slow. What is it with these games and slow elevators? I mean, honestly. Honestly! Yeah, I like this mission. It's, uh, it's a great way to get to the final mission uh, for the good side, because Stage 6s, as I've mentioned, are the final stages of the storyline, ladies and gentlemen. We're in the Stage 5s. After this, there's only one more level. CHAOS CONTROL! Oh, it stopped me at the elevator. I didn't push the button. It literally stops you at the elevator. Oh, well. Time for an awesome fucking CHAOS CONTROL! Do it, Shadow! What's the 
the matter, Shadow? Can't keep up? Uh, Sonic, I'm at the Emerald. <laughs> I just did the most bitchin' chaos control maneuver of all time. Sorry, Sonic, you're too slow! Sonic, now I remember. That day, we fought here aboard the Ark. Oh wow, Shadow remembers the final battle, or at least the final battle of the Dark Story slash Hero Story. It is about time you showed up, Shadow. Dark's defense system is blocking our attack forces out. Destroy them, and we will take the arc. And of course, if you choose to ignore Sonic completely and help out Big Bad Black Doom and take over the arc with him, then the entire mission revolves around destroying these five generator things. And uh, the way the level design is, it's actually pretty competent, you know, you, you can't really miss it. Black Doom points them out really well. There's five of them, not 40 or 60. So you know what? I rather like Space Gadget. I think it's a well-designed level, and it's actually one of the few good levels in Shadow the Hedgehog. Because again, I don't hate everything about this game. It has its good parts. Space Gadget is a good level, in my opinion. Because again, here's another green thing I have to destroy. I have to destroy five of these things so that Black Doom can take over the Ark. I destroy this, and from where I'm standing, the green platform disappears, and it takes me to the Black Doom Dark Pathway, because the Sonic Race and the Black Doom Dark Pathway are two completely different pathways, and this game had the distinction to give you, you know, a very big open space gadget with at least two different pathways, thereby making the mission structure interesting and simple, and you figure it out, and it's good, and, you know... This is the level design Shadow should have been. It should have been, like, bigger with basically your decision being more towards you went in, in this direction, therefore you're evil, not so much oh, you had to kill every goddamn cop in, the, in Westopolis. Oh, you missed one, let's do this all over again for six minutes. Uh. But, you know. I will say that the Dark Mission is a little bit disorienting, though, because when you're taking out these generators, not only are they hiding behind platforms and stuff, but you're constantly flipping switches to reverse gravity, and sometimes it can be a little bit tricky uh, to know where exactly you should be going, especially when everything's like sideways and upside down, and you're not s really sure if you should be going straight ahead, if you should be jumping downwards. Uh, it can be a little bit disorienting. Sometimes when I hit the wrong gravity switch, I absolutely do get lost, and I don't know where to go next, and uh, that part really sucks. And I don't know why the camera does that. Every time I've played this level, the camera always goes sideways when I enter this room, but when you move the camera, it adjusts and goes back to normal. I think it was supposed to go side- and there it goes again! <laughs> I think it's supposed to go sideways when you flip a certain switch in reverse gravity, but for some reason the game's not programmed right, so it just kind of tilts the camera. I mean, a, a simple flick of the C-stick brings it back to normal, but still... It will be disorienting for people who don't flick the C-Stick and don't know that they can bring the camera back to normal just by doing that, and everything goes all sideways on them, and they're like, What the fuck was that? I didn't touch a gravity switch. This is not Death Egg Zone. <laughs> Either way, these gravity switches never found me, uh... I never hit a gravity switch and found myself falling into the black void of space. So, uh, it's well designed in that aspect, I guess, but, you know. Ah, fucking gun mech! Speaking of gun mechs, what happened to those traditional gun mechs from Sonic Adventure 2? I understand there's gotta be, like, lots of humans for Shadow to beat up on because Shadow hates humanity, and that's kind of the whole theme of Shadow, that he hates humans, so he'd want to beat up on them. But, like, the only mechs we see are those green ones that are really hefty and stuff. What happened to those, what happened to those silver ones? Those really thin, metallic little guys with the laser blasters. They're in Sonic Rush! <laughs> if they're in Sonic Rush, which came out on the exact same day as Shadow the Hedgehog, by the way. Uh, if they came out in Sonic Rush, why can't they be in Shadow? I like those robots, those were cartoony and fun. Always fun to blow up in Sonic Adventure 2. They had to go down in this area, and I didn't- I kept going, like, across in the platforms and stuff. Again, the level design here is a little bit disorienting. If you're not exactly sure where you should be going, you might get lost. I- I have gotten lost here before, so, you know. Just felt like mentioning. 
try and make sure all your platform landings count. You don't want to get hit by a laser blast, you know. All that jazz. He says that, and yet when we do the dark mission, Shadow still gets the Chaos Emerald. So what happened? Makes sense, video game! Makes sense! I won't let the Ark fall back into human hands. Well, folks, that was Space Gadget. I rather liked that level. I want Sonic to come back. Come back, Sonic! Why can't you be the main character? <laughs>